in the city where Calgary won its first great cup in 1948. And on the CNE grounds where Ottawa won its last title 40 years ago. East meets West. The Red Blacks tackle the Stampeders for the first time from BMO Field in Toronto. Well, what drama prior to the game, he did not accompany the team out for the team introduction. An injury in the warm-up, but he has now joined the club, and it looks like Henry Burris is going to be able to start a right breeze as Zach Paneros kicks off the 2016 Grey Cup, and here's Roy Finch. He returned the kickoff to start the Western Final, 46 yards, but not here. Only by Mitchell gets set to go to work. He has not lost since June 25th, the unanimous choice as the most outstanding player in the Canadian Football League. Mitchell to throw, quick hitter, and it's inter almost intercepted. Horace Hightower jumped the route. An Eastern All-Star. Ottawa no huddle, Burris has an open target to Greg Ellingson, and he has a first down. So plenty of confusion on that Calgary defensive side. They were in the midst of a change as Ottawa got up to snap the football. Canadian running back in a playoff game, second and four. Short drop, and it's complete. Ellingson's got another thumbs up. Empty it out, six receivers, second down, and the pass incomplete. Ellingson looks for a flag. There is the right hand on the right arm and puts it on the one-yard line. First and goal, they surge ahead. Henry Burris, touchdown. Now, just like last year, Chris, Ottawa Red Blacks score first. Second and two. Stands in, throws, and Mark McDaniel. McDaniel down around the 25, and will get hauled down at the 20. He was the big man last week in the West Final with 131 yards and a touchdown. Red zone this year, they empty it. Mitchell throws, mess him up the backfield. Touchdown. First Grey Cup, and in his hometown, Jerome Messam has a touchdown to get Calgary close. Between them, the top passing team in the league. He's looking for Ernest Jackson and got him. Two for two last week, right down the middle. So it's early to punt. Tanner Dahl, the long snapper. Roy Finch, the return man at the Calgary 34. And a fumble play came down on a high hit. They believe we'll have to sort it out. It's Ottawa football, but there is a flag. I didn't, didn't see any illegal tackle. Second down. Another bullet from Henry Burris. That ball is up. And here does Jackson. Gets hit back. Big recovery for Jackson. Henry Burris. Little jump. LeBlanc. Touchdown. Just like last year, Patrick LeBlanc has hit pay dirt in the Great Cup. The timing is off on the play fake here to Van, and he just pulls up, tosses it over Jaguar Davis. Mitchell going to air it out. He's got open Jordan, but picked off. Boris Hightower comes back and fields it, and it's back-to-back -back takeaways for the Red Blacks. Second and 10. Metsum releases. Mitchell has time, loading it up, but nobody there. And Mitchell, who threw only eight during the year, has thrown two interceptions. Could be as good as a punt if Ottawa can't move it here from his end zone. Burris throws, completes an ugly, gets him out of the hole with a big play up to the 35-yard line. What a half by Henry Burris. He continues to roll, but on his shoulder, guaranteed. First and 15, Ellingson again. On the hitch, gets a block. Oh, oh he got helicopter there. Out of the hold of Trevor Harris. And early nails it. And Rick Campbell's team takes a 13-point lead. Four receiving yards. Then Sinopoli among Canadian targets. A roll and an open man. And Ernest Jackson has a catch. And they're down to the 23, just like that. Another quick hitter inside, caught, touchdown! Brad Sinopoli has the major. This is all about timing. He's got to get the ball out of his...
his hands before 41 can get around the horn. He sees it. He gets it out of his hands quickly. Brad Sinopoli fights for the extra two yards and the touchdown. Penalty against Landon Cohen of illegal block that sets Ottawa back 10. That ball's on. And Joe Burnett has got it. And the Stampeders needed a break, and they come up with one. Oh, a little glimmer of light for the Stampeders in a sweep here, the jet sweep for Rennie Perez. And he hits that, and it's now 27-10. to 10. Because they're behind, and that would happen all game. Second and seven, fake to Messam, throwing downfield, and have Bakari Grant. Second and five, pressure over the middle, and that pass caught was Durant touch. He gets up. Lamar Durant is into the end zone. Touchdown. And was he touched? He didn't feel a touch. There was... Hightower on one side, Pruneau jumps around him. I don't think Pruneau touched him at all. After review, the ruling on the field stands. It's a touchdown for Calgary. So Lamar Durant, who had a pair of touchdowns in the Western Final, has a 33-yard touchdown here. Second and 10. Pressure coming. And Burris got it away. And a quick close there by the middle linebacker, Singleton. And it is back-to-back two and outs. He threw more than two interceptions a game. Game one a year ago against Hamilton. And that pass is on the money. A lot of time in the end zone, incomplete. Calgary looking for a flag. The intended target was Jordan. And now the challenge flag does come out. Uh, Dave Dickinson, who's on the rules committee, took a look after watching that play and said, yeah, that's that's pass interference. Quarterback this year. And he'll take the right side and has a touchdown. Yeah, the Calgary Stampeders cue the comeback. And Burris counter it. This time they send four. Kreiner's got the catch. Kreiner's got a first down. And across midfield. Canadian Football League this year. Second and five. Burris double clutched. And now looking deep. Kreiner brings it down. This is big time the top and pulls it down on Matt Buckner in the series prior to the winning touchdown. Burris trying to barge in and does. Touchdown, Henry Burris. A little second effort from Henry Burris right here. It looked like he was stopped there initially. Second touchdown of the game for Burris. It makes it a two-score lead once again. Second and ten. Messam releases. Mitchell hit as he throws. And it is intercepted. It's Burris high. With the grab, and for the first time this season, Bo Levi Mitchell has been picked off three times in a game. Bo Levi Mitchell has two opponents now, the Red Blacks, and that 221 left on the clock. Mitchell over 300, takes a shot, and it's caught to Burris Daniels down the rail. And the Stampeders in business, they play. from Dave Dickinson. DeVars Daniels made up his mind immediately when he took the football that he was going for the corner. He was going for the edge and trying to outflank the Red Blacks. Gets it done, they get the major. Red has no, Maber, yes. Up for grabs, and Calgary football. Glenn Love comes up with it. Usually sure-handed, Brad Sinopoli unable to bring it down. Buckley comes back in. Second and goal. Rolling, tripped up at the four. Abdul Kane with the play. Dave Dickinson trying to show like Buckley's going to go on that quarterback sneak again, then roll the quarterback out and have him throw, but all the receivers and targets covered down. Armchair quarterbacks will say not mess him at the two. Clock runs, game time. 60 minutes doesn't solve it. Overtime awaits. And an open man, Ernest Jackson, has the catch. Big over the middle, open man, Ernest Jackson, touchdown. Not his most sure-handed grab of the year, but maybe his biggest. What theater? It was three or four juggles. 
their touchdown leader with 10 in the regular season. The Eastern nominee for MMOP with a big grab there, a critical two point. And into the back, and he can't find him. Peyton was loose. On well, the advantage of going second, you can play three down football, and he's going to try and do it in one play. Incomplete. Kamar Jordan had a shot at it, couldn't bring it down. High tower in coverage. Looking at the ball, playing the football, he has equal right to it. That's good coverage. They are two for two on third downs tonight. This the biggest one of the night. Need 10. Mitchell over the middle. Locked down. Red Blacks win for the first time. The Red Blacks are great cup champions. 40-year Ottawa football drought is over in the most dramatic of fashion. Well, it'll go down, Chris, as one of the greatest upsets in Grey Cup history and maybe one of the greatest games. It is my pleasure to present the 2016 Grey Cup champions, the Ottawa Red Blacks.